Hello, welcome to Clarity PPM video series. I am Vib Marotra, product manager for Clarity PPM, and today I'm going to be talking about channels. Channel is a functionality that was introduced in Clarity PPM as part of version 15.5. Channels are configurable modules to the project blueprint, which provide the ability to access other parts of Clarity or even external applications. You can configure up to five channels per blueprint. And as part of the configuration, you can also define referral URLs. Referral URLs is used when you have a link to external application and that link redirects you to another uh, place for authentication. We will see an example of that later. When defining the URLs for channels, you can pass up to five context sensitive parameters which provide information related to the specific project where the channel is being used. The five parameters are project code, project ID, project manager, username, and project name. As part of this video, I will show you how to define channel to a benefits page in classic UI, define a channel to rally investments, and finally define a channel to box drive where we will use referred URL. So let's jump straight to the product. Here I am in Clarity 15.6 and I am within the uh, the administration of modern UX. I'm in the uh, the blueprint and I'm going to begin by making a copy of our standard blueprint. Once I make a copy, I can rename this and I can make this new blueprint as default. Now let's go configure the modules for my new blueprint. And you can see under modules, I have five channels available to me that I can drag and add to my list of modules. So let's edit this. And I'm going to now define the first channel for the benefits page. I can give my channel a name and I can define the URL. The URL can easily be taken from the classic UI. So in this case, I'm jumping over to the classic UI. I'm going into a specific project and navigated down to the benefits plan page of that project. I can take that URL as is, or I can take this URL and modify it using the context sensitive parameters to ensure that any project that uh, has the channel in it, when the user clicks on that channel, will take to the specific uh, project that that user is on. So let's copy this. Let's go back to our channel and paste that value right here. The first change I'm going to do to this URL is change the 5 million number that's already hard coded in here to a context sensitive parameter which would be internal ID. The second change I'm going to make is I do not want to use the server URL in my uh, channel URL. So I'm going to replace this with the dynamic URL that uh, is pretty much defined based on the location that I'm at. And that in my case is going to be four levels up. Uh, again, when we go into the channels, I will show you how I, I get that four levels. So I've defined four levels up and then rest of the path using the dynamic link. I am good. I can publish this. And now let's go to a project in the modern UX where this um, blueprint can be seen. So I'm going to go into the project list. And in here, if I go inside my project, I should see my new channel 
is listed at the very end. When I click on it, it takes me to my respective benefits page in the classic UI. The four channels or uh, the four uh, levels up that I got was from right here because in the URL you can see I'm four levels deep. So I go one, two, three, four, and then re rename the path to get the rest of the value. Now that I've defined a channel to the classic, let's create the second channel to our um, rallies investment page. So I'm going to go back to my blueprint edit it, and I'm going to add the second channel. I'm going to rename this to Rally Investment. And I am then going to go right here, copy the URL from my Rally application. Again, notice it has uh, their unique identity. Uh, number which I will replace. So I'm going to copy this URL, come back to my channel, and just paste it under the channel URL. I will remove this value so that it is not always going to a specific workspace investments, but it'll go into the investments under the workspace I log into. I can publish this now go back to my project. I will just refresh this page so that I can see my additional channel come up. Now, if I go towards the end, I see Rally Investments. When I click on it, it'll prompt me for the username and password because I have logged out. Once I log in, it will show me my application investments. The third one that I'm going to add is to the um, box drive and where I will use referral URL. So I'm going to edit, add the third channel, give it a name. And in my case, I already know the box drive URL I want to use. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it right here. This is my URL that I want to use. I can, at this point, um, do a preview to see if this URL works. But in order to do that preview, the first thing I want to do is refresh this page so that the value is saved and the information is rendered for me to do a review. Now, if I go back into my box drive, this value is there. If I click on preview, I get this error message saying that my URL has been blocked. I can debug it further by using the browser's developer mode. In my case, I am in Chrome and I'm going to use F12 key to see the information as to where it is getting stopped. I see that it is trying to access another uh, URL before going into the final destination. That URL is not listed anywhere here. So I'm going to copy this, paste it into my referral URL, and now I can refresh it again so that the value gets saved and uh, uh, it is added to the uh, list of referral URLs. I can go back in. It's still there. Now, if I do a preview, it comes up prompting me to log in. I can click on the login page. And once I am successfully logged in, I get the box drive preview. I can close this, publish my blueprint, go into the project, refresh this page, now I see the box drive. I can see my 
box drive. This is just to confirm that I am logging in and I see my box drive documents. Let's go back to our so we saw the three channels that were defined. Channel one was to the benefits page in the classic UI. The second one was for rally investments and the third one was for box drive. All the information that I covered are also available to you in our online documentation. Thank you for watching the video.